Today we're in the book of Proverbs, actually chapter 10. And it kind of begins a whole new section for the book of Proverbs. And it begins to talk about truth. It begins to talk about wisdom and contrast, if you will, here in chapter 10 of the book of Proverbs. Good versus evil. The life and the destiny of good and evil. Where you end up when you live good and righteous and where you end up when you live in a way that's evil or unrighteous. Listen to some of the verses from Proverbs chapter 10. The fear of the Lord prolongs days, but the years of the wicked are cut short. The hope of the righteous will be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked, well, it will perish. The way of the Lord is strength for the upright, but destruction will come to the workers of iniquity. He begins to share these end results as well as the pathways of righteous versus wicked. And he talks about the fact that you can trust God, you can trust his wisdom, you can trust his righteousness, and you can be free from the fear of being found out or exposed by living a wicked life. There's freedom, there's trust, and there's great rest in the fact when you trust in the wisdom of God and value his truth and his knowledge. It's a proverb that calls you to trust and to walk in truth. Trust in the wisdom of God, to call upon it, and to benefit from trusting. Listen to verse 16, I'll just read it to you. It says, the labor of the righteous leads to life, but the wages of the wicked to sin. So the labor of the righteous, the things he does that are right, lead to life. The wages of the wicked, or the price you have to pay, well, it leads to sin. I would maybe summarize it like this in a verse you've probably heard many times. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. Proverbs chapter 10, all about wisdom, and all about the contrast between wisdom and unrighteousness. And the call for today would be to trust the Lord's wisdom and walk in His truth.